Welcome back, all of representatives and senators. We have much to discuss and unfortunately some tragic news to discuss as well. It is with great sadness that I report to you that the crew of the CSS Osiris was lost with all hands early this week. Now obviously this is a serious blow to the Confederation and this is with a heavy heart that I have released a report of the tragedy in which the main reactor of the vessel exploded due to unforeseen circumstances. Operations are already underway to return the crew's bodies to the Confederation uh, and an investigation has been made to find out what happened fully so that we can give the families of the loved ones affected closure. As you may also know, the public has taken to itself to start to get angry about the loss of Osiris and police have already been deployed to seize on Ares, New Solaris and also Diana. And hopefully with a full investigation, the public will be satisfied and discontinue their attempts to protest our government. If this does not happen and we are not able to investigate it fully, I will personally step down as Consul of the Confederation immediately. In other news, our covert talks with the alien species that now identifies itself as the Tapachula Federation are going well, and we are planning to keep them at arm's length while also scouting out and determining the threat they pose to the Confederation. Remember, this matter is not supposed to be discussed outside of this meeting, and it is classified under Article 13A of the uh, Confederation Policy of Diplomatic Talks. In colonization reports and news, we are continuing at a rapid pace. With Essence being our main target for colonization, we hope for it to be terraformed by the year 2155. We also have begun specialization of colonies, with Ares being turned into a planet of war. They are all export soldiers for the coming conflicts. I look forward to your replies. Signed, Marcellus Tiberian, the first consul of the Confederation. Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Warfrex C Sharp New Horizons Let's Play series. In today's episode, we're going to be seeing where we last left off. But before we get there, a few disclaimers and also things we have to go through uh, before we can start the episode. Number one. Last episode, there was a problem after I completed the recording and uploaded it and everything. I, when I went to go and save it, something happened in my brain. I forgot to save it. I closed the game out. Um, and that meant that I had to redo everything that I did. Luckily, it's in a video, so I just redid all the exact steps, but there were still a few things off due to how RNG works. So that means that um, uh, there were a few things off. Uh, one, some of the systems that we explored at the end of the episode are off. Um, two, some of the industry stuff is a little bit off. Uh, there's a few issues that commanders might be slightly different. Um, but overall, the main important parts are the same. So, like, uh, Sirius is still destroyed, or the Osiris is still destroyed. We've lost the Osiris. Um, and the, you know, we, we've still colonized, and, and everything's kind of looking how we want it to look. Now, before... We get into it um, as well. So, so that's basically the disclaimer. That's what happened. But before we get into it, uh, please don't like, comment, subscribe. We just help out. We're trying to push for a thousand subscribers. Would be really, really awesome. Um, and uh, I'm going to be making a lot more episodes and a lot more videos soon, uh, because especially tutorials. Because obviously, conventional starting sets we mastered is going to be ending. Um, and that will mean that I'll have more time to work on tutorials, and I'm going to be going basically this series, and then full-blown on tutorials daily. So expect a tutorial either daily, or on the same day as this, um, from now on, and I'll be making uh, basically as many tutorials as I can get out. They'll be about ship design, ship combat, ship, everything, everything to do with, with, uh, ship design, sensors, all that kind of stuff. Um, these, the, these... Episodes to be set this series will still be going because people really love this. Uh, people really like uh, New Horizons. And I'll be keeping on doing this even to 1.12. So 1.12 is about a week or two out at this point. Um, and as such, uh, that means that there may be three, four, four, five more episodes before um, that release. And if it comes out while we're still doing this series, I will continue going with this series. And then at some point, depending on how, if people are still supporting it, we will decide to move over to 1.12 with a new idea, new series, new new uh, concepts, new update, new everything. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, um, and uh, yeah, another thing is I, I uh, really like your guys' RP, like you guys are really getting into it, and that's the entire point really um, of the series, is for you guys to get immersed, enjoy the RP, enjoy the gameplay, um, and the content, and all of that, so more of that is awesome, keep doing that, and uh, <laughs> um, I will be, I'll, I'll be kind of going back and forth with that accordingly as well. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into the game. So, um, as a little bit different than when we last ended off, uh, we're about a few months before actually, and as you can see, um, we have a few things we got to do there. Uh, really, priorities for this episode is going to be primarily continuing our colonization, and is going to be terraforming essence. Um, and getting a military ship up. Now, we don't have our turrets designed just, just yet, but we did get ghost cannons designed and a few other things. And so hopefully we should be able to make some military designs relatively quickly for point defense. Um, and then we're going to need some kind of... Um, some some kind of anti-enemy ship defense. Um, and so my thought is we're going to go with very fast ships. Um, but those ships, are, are, are we're going to basically have two weapons, particle beams, last lancers, and then gorse cannons. The gorse will be for point defense, and then the, and the particle weapons will be for ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat. And as long as we're going fast enough, we should be able to beat pretty much everything with that, um, as long as we stack it enough as well, especially. So a few things as well that some people commented on um, is that uh, in Alf Centauri we only have one fuel harvester actually, uh, which is not a lot of fuel. Um, if we have a look at the industry tab here, we don't have that much fuel coming in, and most of it is not coming in. Um, you know, it's not is not specifically coming in from the fuel harvester. Um, so we probably do actually want to create some more of those fuel harvesters. So I'm going to put an order in here, um, to construct, what's the fuel harvester again? Fuel harvester, um, okay, Mendelan, um, ship construction, uh, industry, uh, Mendelan, and we're going to construct four more of those, okay, 20% industry, um, because I think we are actually probably going to need them, uh, especially now, um, and then, uh, well, also a lot of a lot of the reason why we didn't do that is because we had uh, defiance, and uh, we also had other moons that were providing sorium and stuff to us. Um, Ares is doing very very well for itself at the moment. We're going to get some more jobs out there. I started moving over the ground uh, construction facilities um, over here, so I started to with economy demands to get these uh, these ground construction complexes moved. Um, and then th that'll hopefully get them sorted, especially for that. Essence is nearly at 10 million population. Um, and we're currently trying to move all of this stuff over here. And our civilian industry is not really coping, um, which is kind of an issue. But I'm going to be dealing with it. So we're going to need to move some stuff over to YZ SETI. So I need to find my tankers. Um, and uh, yeah, these these are... Cargo ships. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go to Ares. I'm going to go to load infrastructure. Then I'm going to go over to uh, YZ SETI. Then I'm going to unload infrastructure on the planet. And then head back to Alpha Centauri. And then refuel. And then just cycle those orders. So the main problem right now is like we don't really have a military. <laughs> um, so we can't really do anything. And someone else point out, especially the place where we unfortunately lost Osiris. Um, you guys can have a look at what I see. <laughs> uh, that's not fun. Okay, so Aether Rifts, I haven't really gone into what Aether Rifts are in my tutorials or anything, but Aether Rifts are, let's just say you don't want to be near them or in the system when they happen. Um, so the Osiris was destroyed over here, and these are precursors, I'm pretty sure. Because of the kind of planet they're on, um, the fact that you, there's another ship destroyed here. So we've got Precursors and an Aether Rift in the same system, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, so I am not going anywhere near that system for the longest. I'm going to let the aliens deal with that. The aliens can deal with the, the Aether Rift all the hell they want. I am not going anywhere near that right now. Especially because we have no military ships. 
We also had an order in for uh, two more Osiris class ships. And we were dealing with constructing, uh, obviously, more military shipyards and stuff. So that'll be, we'll be getting those up um, accordingly. Um, yeah. Uh, and everything is looking good overall for us. We really need to start just cranking some stuff out and just getting more ships. Research is going well. We have a total of, like, how many research labs do we have? Um, 41. We have 41 labs. We could definitely use them more. Um, I wouldn't be denying that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, if I go to absent soy, okay, there we go. And uh, we're just going to continue incrementing the time. Incrementing complete research. Once we got four thousand kilometers a second on our turret tracking speed, we'll start designing the turrets. And then once we have turrets, we can really start looking at what we want to be designing in terms of technology. Um, we don't have magneto tech yet, so I'm not going to start designing the engines. So the first thing we're going to make is a seven thousand five hundred ton destroyer, um, which is going to be another system. Um, it's going to be for purely defensive, and then I'm going to make a variation on that, and then we're also going to make a cloaking vessel. Um, and then we're also going to make some carriers if we can as well. Um, so, that, that's primarily what we're going to be looking at. Um, I also hope you guys are enjoying the longer episodes. So the last episode was a 40 minute episode, and this episode will also be 40 minutes, about one quarter the way through. Um, and I do, I do, I do really hope you enjoy the episodes because it does take a lot longer to obviously record, and then you got to edit, and, and it takes a little bit longer to render out. So uh, let me know how 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 are you enjoying the episodes. Um, so the Avon needs to get moved, and I'll go and explore another place. Now the problem we're kind of facing at the moment is we're exploring really far out, um, so we might want to just stop all that exploration. Because at this point, it's going to take so long for our ships to go back and forth and back and forth that it might not be worth it at that point. And we should probably just focus on military, getting ships up, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pro I'm probably going to do that um, at some point, yeah. Um, but but not just for right now. Um, so, all that's not reusable, cannot carry a standing order, so there's no suitable destination. Avon, what? Why are you complaining? Wait, is your jump drive destroyed? No. You don't. You know, your jump drive isn't destroyed. <laughs> so yeah, I, I actually think yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them all back, resupply, begin overhaul, and then I'm going to just. But we're basically gonna ground the fleet. Um. Especially, you know, RP-wise, it makes sense. Uh, all of our ships kind of explode. Well, our Osiris exploded, which kind of loses faith in the whole project. Um, and so we're going to have to ground all of our vessels accordingly. Um, and so there, I'm going to bring those back. Um, we just finished construction of another fuel harvester station. Very, very good. Um, and we're going to hopefully get some inf more infrastructure moved over here so that we can get colonies moved over. In terms of our civilian economy situation out, um, we kind of need more, realistically, because they're kind of doing everything for us. Sorry if you heard that. So they're kind of doing everything for us, which is kind of an issue, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, we built the Laladen, which is our diplomacy ship. So, shipyard, Laladin, detach, go to Lalanid, and then go to Tau Sedi, and then go to Expodi. Then on Tau Sedi, deactivate, transpond, activate, activate all. Uh, mass driver just complete. Uh, so, we are obviously moving stuff over to, uh, to Ares. Uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna need to some resources there as well for them to even be able to build stuff on our So that's gonna be that's gonna be something very interesting that we'll have to do. So we just got magnetoplasma drive. So we are actually gonna start developing um, a new vessel. We're gonna call it the Vanguard class, um, and then we're going to go for destroyer. So destroyer escort, um, and we want a fairly fast ship. So 
At Magneto, I'm looking for around 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers a second, maybe even more than that. Um, so I'm going to go for a size 25 engine. Okay, and I'm also going to increase the boost. Oh, we don't have any boost techs. Uh, so I never researched boost techs. Um, so that, that's going <laughs> to... That's a bit of an issue. Um, so I'm, I'm going to research that and then we'll have a look at that because I, I, I do want to get some boost textures so we don't spend as much on the size of the engine so we can actually fit more stuff on the ship itself. Um, so the Avon is unexplored to explore. Yeah, um, I'm just going to stand you down with all orders. So no condition and then no condition on all of these. And we're basically just going to retire um, this ship, honestly. Uh, it served its purpose. The Osiris project was greatly successful besides the, obviously, um, the loss of the CSS Osiris itself. Um, we've explored over, th we've explored 30 systems at this point, and we surveyed 19 of them. Um, and I think we will be looking to build a new generation of those ships sometime later. Um, so... Uh, as a matter of urgency, the mission was was astro origin message was asteroid one eight three. They want us to leave. Uh, sure, we can leave. We'll 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 leave you alone. Uh, so where is the ship? We will move to uh to Tau City. We'll move we'll move over there. Uh, the ship has moved there. It's originating, and we're getting more diplomacy ratings. So these aliens are actually pretty happy with us um, in terms of in terms of everything else. Those aliens are not. These aliens are pretty happy with us. Um, and I'm, I'm, and we'll have to see. We don't have any gravitational, geological, or cooperation, or even trade access with them. Um, and so we'll have, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, we complete some ordnance factories. Um, I'm going to start ramping up our maintenance facilities because we are going to need those in terms of um, actually constructing like serious amounts of stuff. Uh, also, I notice our racial wealth is, is kind of having some issues. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to start constructing a lot of these. Um, I think someone even commented last episode that we were having racial wealth issues, so I'm going to up -cue that and just start mass producing financial centers to solve our, our, our financial problem, because that's not going to be good, because everything else is going to have issues. So if we have a look at wealth and trade, um, we do have more income than we have at our ex... Well, yeah. we, do, we do have more income uh, overall in terms of expenditure. Um, okay, we got ground grid force construction rate. We're gonna go for another one of those. Uh, we just want to get that as high as possible because we are obviously constructing some STO batteries, and so those will be done in about five years. Uh, research into power mod that just completed. We're going to go for these engines again. Magnetoplasma drive technology. Size twenty five. We're going to do a point one two fuel um, enhancement. So these will be EP eight. A, uh, 480 this will take up basically one third of the vessel in terms of total size um, and we'll give that a company name and we'll prototype that and then we will put that on a new vessel so that'll be obviously the Vanguard uh, class destroyer escort so Vanguard class destroyer escort uh, we are going to put on you uh, the Magneto plasma drive so we'll put two of those on you and so that should really start propelling you uh, we're gonna put four layers of armor we're going to do a deployment time of uh, 18 months, and uh, we are going to put on some other stuff. So we need some sensors on, on this, obviously. Um, but first, I'll have to check that. So there's not much fuel at all, is that? It's just really not a lot. Um, so I'm going to put on just a little bit more fuel there. So it's got 34 days of a range of... Uh, 37 billion kilometers. Um, obviously, it's going to get a lot bigger um, once we put weapons on. Um, and to actually do that, we're going to need to get our turret track rating speed up so we can start adding some turrets onto the actual um, thing itself. Deposits of sodium have been exhausted. We have continued our, obviously, our construction of naval vessels. Uh, six research labs were just finished up there. Uh, we're going to put those into our touch tracking speed because we're going to need that if we're going to continue our designing of new military vessels and ships. I said that measured out our forces leave in the, in the near future as the system lies within their territory. They really don't like our diplomacy ship, do they? 
I really don't like it. It's suggesting. Uh, I don't believe him. I don't believe him. <laughs> um, I don't think they'll actually destroy it. The Tapu has been set to, as per the system, the protection was that has been set to request to leave. Um, and it's I'll send you that's the per system. Yeah, so that over here. Uh, they are requesting that Lalnid 1010 uh, leaves. Um, it's just in that force leave. Uh, example, Avon. We're just trying to do diplomacy, dude. Come on, like, why? The aliens really don't like us being diplomatic, even though they've been quite, you know, nice to us. Um, we are going to now stop uh, stable on Essence. So Essence will now be stable. Um, because I don't really want any more people on here um it seems our like e environment situation here so temperatures are being raised quite significantly um and so we should we should we should hopefully get it sorted fine i'll, I'll move it away i'll move it away move it over there. now we complete turret tracking speed so now we're going to design some turrets we're going to give them 16,000 uh, kilometers a second max tracking speed. We're going to do a single heavy point defense cannon to it. Okay. And then, then we're going to do small and medium quad turrets. Um, so, obviously, the quads are just for volume of fire. Just trying to get as much fire as possible. And then the singles are for direct specialized fire on enemy targets. Um, and also for other stuff like dealing with fighters and, and things like that. Where we don't need, you know, a massive amount. Um, and so we're going to go and research those. There we go. And... Put small point defense and then quad point defense, and then once those are done, we'll be able to start sorting that set that out for us. There, uh, we complete research, and now we're doing more research into that, and complete research into our point defense cannon as well. Uh, in terms of colonization, we are getting a little bit more population on, on these other planets. Um, we do want to actually start getting some mining stuff over here, especially uh, to Sirius. So, I'm going to start moving over some mines. Uh, really, we just want more freighters, I think, like, because the civilians are just not enough. Um, so, I'm going to put in an order here for two more freighters uh, for shipyard construction. Um, and then we'll, we'll get we'll get stuff moved over, because currently our freighters are busy dealing with moving infrastructure over to uh, YZ SETI. Uh, we have inactive research labs, which means that our stuff's done, so now we can uh, begin design. Um, we can uh, begin, begin design, obviously, of our turrets. So, where is our ghost cannon? Okay, ghost cannon. Uh, we're going to put on, I think, just quad smalls. So, okay. So, put eight. We put eight on it. That will give us a total... Uh, that will give us a total, uh, <laughs> if we, if we have a look at the Vanguard, so that will give us 1,400 tons left to play around with. So, that means that we'll need a fire control, we don't need that big of a fire control. Um, we won't have any shields, uh, we'll be able to add some infrastructure, we should, we should be able to do this. I think, I mean, if we do 8 times 12, I mean, that's how many, you know, shots we're actually going to be able to get out, so that's 96 rounds every five seconds um that we'll be able to fire um so uh, we'll, we'll have to see i mean that is a lot of lead down range um it's you know it is considerable amount but obviously that could be vastly improved um girls kind of rate of fire four would would affect this dramatically so we might have to go for a redesign and then and then change that around but this is good to at least get us uh, kind of an idea of what we'll be looking at for this ship so if we do eight times 12 and then we add in 
engineering spaces here to increase maintenance life. Uh, we have enough MSP there, very good. We're looking at about 1,000 BP uh, per ship. Um, and then we'll make a ship that's based off this that will have a jump drive on it. Um, so we need to add some sensors. So I think we'll add 250 ton sensors to, to, to either. So um, that'll be 750 tons. So we'll do a EM and then thermal sensor. So uh, where is the 250 tons? Size 5. Um, and 200, yeah, 250. So active sensor. This will just be a generalized active sensor. Um, so 18 million kilometer range. And then, I'm also, and then I'm going to also prototype it as well. Um, I'll prototype the rest. Uh, and then also we want a resolution 1. This will be for anti-missile. Um, and so that will see a missile at 1.7 million kilometers away. Um, and so since these will basically be our primary defensive vessels, that makes the most amount of sense for us. Um, and then we're also going to design smaller 2.5 sized um, EM uh, and also... Uh, thermal sensors so prototype and then also prototype the other one so thermal 2.5 there we go and then we can go over here and we can uh, we can we can add these to our vessel so if we go to thermal sensors 2.5 and then em 2.5 active search sensors and so there we go and so that's a pretty comprehensive sensor suite um, our ship's going to probably be going 6,500 kilometers a second, which I'm pretty happy with overall for speed-wise. Um, obviously, fuel is a little bit of an issue, but obviously, we're just going to we're, we're going to use tankers for this, um, so we won't really have too many problems. Maintenance life is not the best, uh, but it's just within deployment time, and so I don't really have issues with it. It's got an armor rating of four, um, and so that'll be our pretty much standard for these kind of destroyers. Uh, is there anything else that I could add? Um, if we have a look at these quad small point defense, um, 264 tons, 210 tons. So we could add, you know, we could add a, another quad um, on there, but we're going to, oh yeah, we're going to need to add fire control, of course. So once we add fire control, there isn't really anything else we're going to need for this. We can just start pumping these Vanguard Destroyer Escorts out. Um, and then we'll make a variant as well that will be um, that will be purely for particle weapons. So, considering, if we have a look at the mass for our quad course cannon, so that's 264, so 264 times 8. Um, we're looking at around 2,000 tons of the vessel. Um, or, or a little, just about a quarter of the vessel is in weapons, and so we'll then be able to obviously extrapolate that and change that um, for particle weapons, and then we'll also make a jump variant, and then we'll 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 change that around. Um, I still want to do some cloaking stuff, but we're going to need to basically get some actual military vessels out first. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's go for beam fire control though, obviously. Um, I, I definitely want to get some better stuff than this. I need 4,000 kilometer range, realistically. Um, so, where is it? So, and then we also might redesign our gauze cannons, of course. Uh, because we're probably going to need to. Um, so I want beam fire control. Uh, we don't really need much beam fire control range. What I really need is a tracking speed. Um, so sensors and fire control. We move from Q, please, and then we're going. We'll go we'll separately add that to the Q, um, and that will all be done in about two years. Okay, I'm okay with that if it takes two years for that. Okay, our stations are done, uh, so we're going to get those moved over. Um, so I'm just need to detach those first, so that we can get our tugs to actually do that properly. Um, so move that over and then we're going to grab the tug fleet and we're going to go to fleets. Look at this. Tractor any shipping fleet. Then we're going to drop them over off on uh, Defiance. So we'll use tractor ships and then refuel and then that should, that should do everything we need for it. Um, and so if I have a look here, so we have uh, this one and this one. 
Um, orbiting Defiance and Orbiting Defiance. Uh, where are the current Emdalans that I, that I uh, set up? So this is currently Orbiting Defiance and producing 9.3 million litres of fuel. Um, and then we also have this. So we're going to set the, that up. So now we're producing 13.4 million litres of fuel a year. Um, and I need to check that tank is actually able to <laughs> to deal with that. Uh, yeah, so that will go back and forth. That can hold 20 million litres of fuel a year. Um, and so I'm going to set this up a little bit differently now. So uh, we'll, we'll tell them to go and refuel from... Uh, We'll go. We'll tell to refuel from stationary tankers with an order delay of. We'll do every three months. So three months. Um, how many is that in seconds? Uh, because obviously, you know, order delay isn't isn't is in seconds. So that's seven million eight hundred ninety seconds. So we'll do that uh, without the commas there because it's in seconds. So refuel every ninety days. Uh, and then head back and transfer fuel to colony. Um, remove last. I don't. Need, I don't. Need, I want an order delay on that. So transfer fuel to colony, and then cycle those moves. Um, and they should just now. It should now just go back and forth. And uh, we're going to be producing a hell of a lot more fuel. Uh, so 13.4 million liters of fuel will now be produced, um, which is really really good. Uh, so our fuel situation should be looking pretty much spot on for what we really want to be doing. Um, we complete research into the ALINT module. Um, very good. Ghost cannon rate of fire just in, just improved. So ghost cannon rate of fire basically just like increases our output by like twenty five percent. So. We do kind of really want to be doing it. Um, so, uh, ghost cannon rate of fire, ghost cannon. Um, so I think I think I'm gonna obsolete those turret designs. I, I honestly because I don't. Th these turrets are just gonna be better. Um, there's no reason to design worse turrets right now. So I'm just going to uh, go in here and I'm going to obsolete all of these. Um, it's a bit of a waste of RP, but. Uh, it, it, it's worth it's it's in the in reality it's gonna be worth it um we can also do a 0 0.5 hs one which would just be complete weight of fire i mean we're looking at eight percent chance to hit per shot and that's also modified accordingly um but the cod gauze should do okay with that so I, I i think we should we should be fine um our velocity is only 10, so we have a range of 10,000 kilometers, but that's fine because uh, Final Fantasy Defensive Fire is always in 10,000 kilometers. Um, and so I'm going to do a small point defense cannon. And then I'm going to then do a medium point defense cannon. So, and just do these again. And then we're going to do a large point defense cannon, which I guess we'll do a size 2 at 33%. So um, this will be heavy point defense cannon. And then we'll get those researched and sorted out for us. Uh, missiles and kinetics. Small defense cannon. And then uh, medium point defense and heavy point defense. Okay, and we complete research in all of those. So now we need to go over here and we need to do our turrets again. Uh, a little bit repetitive, but uh, this was going to be definitely worth it for our vessels um, in terms of in terms of being able to do what they want to do. So this is only how how heavy is this? It's 133 tons for this one thing. That's really good. And uh, we're going to create that, and then I'm going to create uh, quad medium create. And then I'm going to create a... We can do a twin. No, we'll do, we'll do a single. We'll do a single. And then we'll go over to energy weapons. And we will research all of those again. Uh, accordingly. Um, and uh, there we go. We should be able to get those done hopefully soon. 
and uh, we continue our research and we are done now we're going to go over to the vanguard and we're going to remove all of the turrets because these are the old ones there we go and now we're going to construct and use the proper ones which are the obviously the small point defense turrets so one two eight so see now it's time 16 so we can have We're looking at 16 times 16, which is a hell of a lot more rounds. So if we do 16 times 16, uh, we're looking at 256 rounds of gorse uh, into enemy missiles. So let's say an ideal circumstance, we're going to be hitting 8% of those shots. So if we do 8% of 256, um, we're going to be hitting at least 20 missiles per ship. Um ideal circumstances now obviously that'd be modified if they're going faster than us um and so we'll have to be careful on that but even if we hit just four percent we're, we're hit, still hitting 10 missiles if we hit two percent we're hitting five missiles and if we're hitting one percent we're hitting 2.5 missiles um so as long as we, we we should have enough lead in the air so if you have four ships that'll be 1000 rounds into the enemy missile salvos um and so we can then just layer those on accordingly um as as we look at these things so i'm pretty happy with that um now we need to get our fire control rating really up here um and do we have our shipyards ready to start construction of this vessel um not really uh we i'm gonna i'm going to sidetrack this one and turn it into a 7500 ton shipyard so that's why would you not that? There you go. And uh, we construct another vessel. Uh, we reach target capacity on the shipyard. Um, I'm then going to add extra slipways, and uh, we're going to continue. Uh, complete overhaul, ground combat bonus increases, oh, yeah, there's a lot of ground forces just doing their thing, uh, and we complete research into a better EL19 module, and we're going to put research into actually getting ourselves some better fuel production, I think. Um, uh, two more Osiris class vessels were constructed. Uh, so we'll, we'll do a return to flight with those very, very shortly. Um, we need to continue our construction of this, though. Um, colonization efforts looking good. We need to put this into probably research, honestly. Uh, that's our main bottleneck right now. Um, and then we also need to secure some more resources in terms of, of what we're looking at. Uh, so why is he setting essence environmental situation? Uh, minus 56 degrees, so you need to raise that by about 40, 45 degrees there. Um, I'm going to increase that to max add temp 25. Um, okay, we just, we just did it. We just we just got a uh, fire control ring, so now we're going to go for our beam fire control. Uh, we're going to do a, no, an, a speed of 4x, so that's only 100 tons. And then we're going to put the range to, I think, 32,000 kilometers. Um, I think is 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 more than is more than fine. Uh, we will actually do this. This will save us a little bit of size. Um, so if we do thirty four percent of, uh, of, uh, of of uh, range and speed, and so that'll be fifty tons. And so we can just create that one and then get that researched immediately, and then we should be completely fine in terms of what we're looking at. Uh, so do that and then I'm going to put the rest into getting ourselves better ground force construction rate so we can get those STOs online um, because we're going to need them. Um, did I uh, did I put research into getting the active center? No, that was the act Why am I researching an active search center? No, 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 no. I want to put research into the fire control system. There we go. Complete research, and that means that we can now go over here to the Vanguard. We're going to go for research, and we're going to look in here, and uh, where's the fire control beam fire control? And there we go. So now we have a fire control, and this is just a pure point defense ship. 
16,000 kilometers a second, shoot 256 rounds uh, per 5 seconds. Every 5 seconds, it'll fire 256 rounds. Um, and yeah, I think I think that works out pretty well for us. Uh, could we we could add a fifth piece of armor? Yeah, we can go for an armor five ship there. Um, and looks like our standard fleet speed is going to be six sixty four hundred kilometers a second, uh, which honestly I'm okay with. Uh, that's not a bad speed to have at all. Um, so I I am not I'm not miffed about that at all. So 6,400 kilometers a second, Vanguard class destroyer escort, and then we are going to copy those designs and we will make more ships in the next episode. They'll be based off those. We'll do a particle beam one, and then we will also do a um, jump based one. And then we're going to need to make some other ships as well accordingly, and we're going to need to do some research into missiles. So this episode was pretty much just me designing ships, kind of talking through some things. Um... There, there, not much else I think happened. I mean, we're twenty one fifty now. Um, overall, everything's going well. Uh, we still need to focus probably more on our colonization aspect because in getting infrastructure out to these these places, otherwise they're not really you know it's not it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's where I'm gonna leave the episode off. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh, see you on the next episode of New Horizons. Bye.